today we play Best of One. The only one in Best of One. Not Virginia Taxes. Ta-da! You Orion! This is standard. Hello, and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and it's time to check in on fairies. Fairies is an interesting one because of all the decks that I've posted, this video on the official Magic the Gathering Arena YouTube channel, by the way, in case you missed it, but of all the decks I've posted with Eldraine, fairies is the one that has generated the most comments like, this deck is terrible. I went 0 and 19 with your deck, CGB. This deck is so bad. Why? What, what, are you not good at magic or something? Because sounds like a skill issue, because when I play fairies, I tend to win. I tend to be able to take their cards, counter their stuff, play a tempo game, which is actually really good often in best of one, especially if it can beat mono red. However, I will say that the fairy list that I posted originally, if you're playing that one, is not suited to current meta perfectly, because that was more leaning into playing as many new cards as possible and trying all the fairy synergies. What turns out to be important are these cards right here, Sleep Cursed Fairy, Fairy Mastermind, these are the two best fairies by a mile. Doing some supporting cast work is Fairy Dream Thief, but you don't want too many. The more of these you draw, the worse your deck is. It's just underpowered. And Obira Dreaming Duelist. This is actually a, a good little fairy. A 2-2 Flash Flyer is fine. Some people run the Vandal. The Vandal I find to be very underwhelming unless you have like the card draw thing going with it, and that feels win more to me. So I don't run Vandal. I do like this card. I think that the Drain is okay, but it's mostly just about the stats on command. Just having that extra power from the get-go lets you trade in spots where otherwise you couldn't. You only need one fairy on the board to make several of these cards good. Ego Drain is still, in my opinion, one of the best things about this deck by far. Getting to play something like a main deck duress that is never dead is so huge against the control decks. And then Fairy Fencing and Spell Stutter as excellent counter spells that keep the opponent off balance throughout the game. However, the... Three drops, Talion's Messenger and Talion, they are not up to standard quality at the moment. Not in a world where you could be running Kaito, Gix, and Shildred. So cut some of the fairy synergy in the three and four spots, replace them with the already amazing cards in Demir that do an am that just run those spots and do amazingly well, and you are better off. This is a much more solid overall deck. One thing you'll notice in the gameplay you're about to see, Murex plays an important role in a couple of games from my side, but you see none here. And that's because the games I cut from the video were me having Murex in my opener and then getting color screwed until I scooped. It happened enough that I eventually cut the Murex even though the card does have its moments. So keep that in mind as you watch the games. Now let's dive in. Let the nonsense begin. On the play, Kaito in the house, along with the fairy typhal instance. That's nice. Mono white, tough matchup. They usually got on the board very quickly. And they've got a Vanguard. Should I counter the Vanguard? Probably. It fits the curve. And counter spells are not usually good against aggro decks. That's a lot of fencing. <laughs> Should I play Kaito? Yeah, actually, let's do it. We'll have the Sleep Cursed Fae coming online soon to help with defense. We'll get a little ninja so we can draw a card next turn. With three fencings, we should be able to hold off whatever they try to do to kill him. Also, expensive, so getting it under Athalia is a good idea. Ossification! Um, okay. Well, I'm phased out in that as Ward, so... Nice play. Your choice is the token. Yeah, yeah, oopsie. This is mono white. They play mono white. Man, now look at all that removal. Look at it! I think that's what we keep, too. I don't think they see it. I don't think they see it. 
there's no more counters on that thing. And that ability can be an instant. We have the recruitment officers covered now. I mean, I guess they might dig for something with them. Hmm? Maybe I didn't have to take two there. I didn't think they were actually gonna, just going to be activating it. Okay. <laughs> it's fine too. I guess they really didn't enjoy their fairy experience. On the play. And is good. Hmm. Keep land number four. I will. It's a pain-free blue source. Might matter a lot if this is mono red. It's not. It's Restless Cottage. Whatever that turns out to be. Golgari. I have a feeling Golgari is pretty good at gr out grinding you, so we have to actually win in the air. Look at that. I kind of love that. Let's keep the pressure on. How much removal do you have? You have a Glissa. Beautiful. Lines up perfectly with what I want to do to you. Ooh, but it's children. They'll have to spend their gold for the throat on children. And then we'll get to play Gix and draw some cards. But if they didn't have the go for the throat, you'd much rather Gix with a children on board, right? Yeah, play your thing that can't block my things. Cards, 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 everybody. I did play a land for turn. I've got two legendaries. Okay, this Otawara is live. Another reason to run the duelist. They got a tortoise. All right, get your mill on. I'm curious if they'll attack me. Nice. Oh, my opponents are not having the best day. No attack, huh? Bounce your tortoise. Kill your Dread Knight. Don't think they'll want to cast that next turn. Cards, 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 cards. Sheldred, you're awesome. I, I'm kind of at a loss. Do we just slam this or do we counter everything they do? I say we counter everything they do. If I can win via Shieldred or Counterspell, I choose Counterspell. Go ahead. Turtle me. <laughs> oh, don't salty rope me. I played a perfectly reasonable game of magic and you whiffed on your tortoise. It happens. It's not like they had no interaction. They interacted. They killed a thing. They chose to use Virtue on a 1-1. One -one. That's a weird choice. Their go for the throat. Yeah. This is a good card, but not when it dies to a one-mana removal spell. Just the way it goes. It's the matchup. Yep. That seems about right. You know we're doing fairies correctly when our opponent is salty roping out. That's just correct fairy gaming. Game. Yeah, that the Golgari matchup didn't look good on that one, did it? <laughs> that looked pretty bad for Golgari. On the draw, but we've got removal, so let's fight. I am ready for all your creatures. You have not played any. How disappointing. Mm. 
Yeah. Uh, mm, um, mm, which one's better? I mean, Spell Stutter has the potential to be better. Yay, we drew the land. I was worried. But I still think we say go. We try to flash in this fairy and then get the card from Gix. If we slam a Gix there, it's not going to live. Okay, beautiful. This lines up the kind of turn we need. Please, no cut downs, though. Yay, no cut downs. Well, we get a card out of the deal. Let me see if the opponent has what it takes to deal with the situation. If they don't have removal, we're in a good spot. That's a shielded. That's not a shielded anymore. Please draw land. Okay, hard mode. Please draw land. Wrong land. All right, well, hopefully they don't have some kind of a sweeper. Although green, black, pretty low on that action. And they seem out of removal. Dread Knight, digging. Look at Gix, absolutely thriving with the Fey, and they have to do something about it. If we had drawn an untapped land, we could have held a make disappear up there. Ugh, the game would have been so over. As it is, it probably still is over. Cut down. Hmm, maybe it's not over. So they ripped a couple removal spells in a row, and now they have a chance. Get your nose out of my graveyard. Symbol of lost lore. Huh. Adventury stuff. Do I care? I don't think I care enough to counter it, right? Like, what am I going to do with my graveyard? Better to use a fencing on this? Or nothing at all, potentially? Because what we want to do is get this sleep-cursed Fey moving. Should I also do this now, but let's save it. There might be a Shieldred. Kaito. Four. Plus. Get in, get out. Thanks. All right, we should be able to counter all that they do. I wish I had used the fencing here. Liliana. Counter is currently for three. Oh, they can pay three. That's not good. It's kind of perfect, isn't it? It really is. Okay, how do I deal? I could counter the Liliana with a Make Disappear. Once I do that, I can't kill the Sentinel in the future. Eh. I guess it's better than leaving them with a Liliana on board and an empty hand compared to my full one. It's a tough call. Perfect draw, threaded the needle. Maybe this isn't over. Maybe my loose play of not killing the Sentinel is going to cost me. It's not like we had a ton of mana. I really should have done it. Gix. Uh-huh. I got someone on the inside. Four to eight. They have another one. Still doesn't matter much to me, other than being a three-four body for three. Kaido. Oh, they're attacking with both. And they're at four. That's game. Oh, wait. We don't have a fairy. Hold on. Hold on. Pirate creature gets minus X until end of turn. That creature gets an additional minus three if you have a fairy. We don't. Okay, cancel. So we're not fencing here. What are we doing? We kill this and they recast it. They go to three, but they get to draw a card. Just let Kaido die, and then pay, pay 
the full cost for the fairy fencing on their turn easy. I learned what I need. Victory! The hard way. I think I made that a lot harder for myself than I had to. Really overthought the cards I had in my hand, and we were pretty tight on mana. So I should have been using my mana every turn. Opponent goes first. Look at this hand. It's a weird hand. No fairies, but you're on the draw. I, I feel like it's a keep because on the draw we have to be defensive anyway, and our opponent doesn't have a turn one evolved sleeper, so we're doing all right. Poisoner. So I've been thinking about this card a lot, actually. I really want to try it as like an anti-mono red black deck, which I've already made some similar versions of that for the MTG Arena's YouTube channel. Plug, plug. Uh, so I'm trying to hold off on doing it again. Let's get them. Let's stutter them. But it's something I have in mind. They play Shieldred. Am I screwed? Kind of am, right? This fencing doesn't kill it. So we just have to pass and hold make disappear and find a target for it. Ta-da! I feel smart today. Ooh. I mean, I have to exile a card from my own hand. It's probably good enough. I've got enough land. Hehe, <laughs> worth it. We've got the march, but they want to use that that on Kaito. Hope you're ready. <laughs> Bet you can't catch Maybe we'll us. get lucky and draw a counter spell. Interesting. Well, how are they going to kill Kaito? I guess they want to attack it. That would be fine. Now this is a juicy threat. I would not march the token. I'd march the Kaido. But let's see. Maybe this is their grand plan. Fairyless fairy deck. We'll see if it holds up. We're trying to hang in there. Ooh, no. Enough with the mistakes. Well, we're both empty-handed. You won't be outsmarting me. And I do have a Murex. Thanks. I'll and now I have a Gix now. that the opponent will minus their Liliana to get rid of. But it gets their Liliana to minus instead of plus. Dude, good go. draw. Good, good draw. Maybe I wasn't supposed to even cast that. Maybe I was supposed to just make the token with Mirix, but then how would we get through the Trespasser, right? We wouldn't. We wouldn't. Uh, so let's go with you. Not bad. Top of the library. Another Kaito. I like that. At least as a way to keep getting cards, especially if they're going to kill this one. And this lets us really attack the Liliana. I got someone on the inside. Instead of help. think about defending our planeswalker. Oh, that's a good. That's a beautiful thing to see. Top deck and land. Drop it. Battle of the three mana planeswalkers. Kind of looking good right now. Sorry, I'm not interested in dying today. It's got a good support team. You'll never see me. Now this 
We still have a graveyard glutton to manage. Ooh, aggressive. Guessing they're going to poison something. Maybe my ninja. It's the timing that's very confusing. There, our, our opponent is clearly an agent of chaos. I also want the card from the Dream Thief, so it's not a total tragedy here. To have it back to block Trespasser. We're also finding interesting ways to use our mana every turn, which is always the sign of a deck that's going to be successful. So for this turn, for example, we get to block with the Dream Thief, then exile the Dream Thief from our graveyard to draw, then put some mana into untapping the Sleep Cursed Fey. Then next turn, another counter comes off. We attack. We draw with Kaito. Maybe we untap the Fey and attack with it. The opponent just scoops it up. They're they're plenty frustrated that they're top decking and I'm not. His hand is cool. He's got some fairies. What more can you ask for? Dream. Dream, dream, dream. I would love to tear their hand to pieces. On curve. Grixis? What does Grixis do? They pass the turn. That's what they do. Then they probably kill my two mana card. What you got? Corpse, Appraiser, Brotherhood's End, Big Score. We want to counter the Big Score. We want to make the Brotherhood's End awkward. And we want to counter Corpse Appraiser? So I think we take the Corpse Appraiser, because this way, on their turn, they're like, well, do I Brotherhood's End one creature? No, I don't. Then the next turn, they kind of want a Brotherhood's End, but they also want a big score, and whichever way they go, we can punish them with a Counterspell. Like, see here? Yeah, they don't want a Brotherhood's End there. Ooh. Ooh. That's so mean. Now when they go for big score, we'll hit them with that make disappear and inflict great sadness. They are smart to do it on my turn though, in case they draw into something else they want to resolve and I don't draw a land. They saw me miss the land drop. Yeah, that's unfortunate. So they will have a window if they draw a really good card. And they showed us a Brotherhood then, so I'm gonna stutter this and save the make disappear. We'll see if that turns out to be a mistake. Cut down, ouch. What else did they draw? Probably another land. Ooh, Shelly. Attack first. Hopefully it's not a make disappear from the opponent. Beautiful. All right, Sheldred, let's go. You're gonna close. You're always a closer. Nope. Sorry, I'm rude. It's what I do here. When it breaks, it breaks fast. Sorry, Dino. Not today. And is okay. It's a bit slow and it really requires uh, Obira to live. 
which makes me nervous. But I think we can keep it. At least the man is good. At least we have three lands. Might even ego drain on one if I draw a fourth land. I did. So we will. Ossification. Eh. Destroy evil. Eh. Calyx. Ugh. But we can kill it. Virtue of loyalty. As far as a first play goes, this is the most value in the hand. I wonder if they drew another one from that hesitation. Maybe not, though. Okay. Nope. That was just the ossification. Chilling on priority. And they're not playing Calyx. I make them regret that, but... Ooh, two ossifications and a destroy evil? Our creatures won't be around. Fencing can kill the Calyx. Destroy evil can kill Sheldred at instant speed. But I think we just want to keep them off creatures as long as possible, to be honest. Let's save the fencing for something else. Turning them into a control deck can be good for us. If they don't draw creatures for a while, we can just Murex them. we slam Shieldred here, they'll just use Destroy Evil, so we don't. We at least want to play it when it taxes their mana on their turn. Okay, they have no enchanted creatures, so Tail for the Ages is not a big deal. Let's start working them with tokens. A creature. They don't have a way to enchant it. Not hard to kill. Whenever an aura enters a battlefield, draw a card. Yeah, we're gonna be shutting that down. And how long can we play this game with the enchantment deck? Although this seems like a very different version of that deck. Still ranked in the top 1,000 though. Not really messing around. Ooh, this draws cards. Whenever one or more artifacts plus two counters whenever this draw a card. Big deal. Why didn't I kill that in response? Because I'm dumb. I honestly forgot this was an instant and that this was an 01. I mean, they're going to destroy Sheldred's evil. And I don't have another good way to get them to cast it, but at least here it does two damage and taxes their turn. Or, yeah, I guess, or taxes their turn, not both. You have a creature? Okay. Nothing I can't stop. And because they had to destroy evil that turn, we got some payoff. Ooh, nice. Very nice. Ooh, nice. Back to back. And now the card draw rolls. And the opponent tilts and concedes. You love to see it. On the play, removal spells, not the worst. Nothing, huh? Well, this would probably die. Does that mean we just don't play it? Maybe not. Hmm. Interesting. Let's try this approach. There are many secrets I don't know, but not. If they kill it's this like one one, that's way better than killing my mastermind. 
And we have something to possibly flash in to attack with Kaito later. Yeah, see, the Mastermind would have ate that cut down. Now we still have a Mastermind in our back pocket. And they do have a creature, of course. There's no secret I can't. Honestly, uncover. this is probably the worst matchup for a Shieldred. Does it say as you cast? If you control the fairy as you cast. Yep. All right. Yep, line up the shot. I have a counterpoint. Might even get them to use another removal spell if that's what they have. Nope. What else you got? More Glissa? Yep. Not what I'd expect. I know something you don't know. Hmm. I think we have to keep the removal. There's always a shelter nearby. The Gix is good card draw, but we have the Kaito. I actually think the Gix is not that useful here. Keep the fairies. Again? Just just the same thing over and over. The words of Darth Vader. You can't run forever, Luke. Bet you can't catch us. I mean I'm sure they're feeling the same way as I remove all of their things. This is exactly the kind of cat and mouse game I enjoy, though. Hmm, value. But they already played their land, so they just burned two lands. Not the right choice. One more removal spell, don't they? Good lord. Well, we'll see. That's a pretty good card. All right, they take this hit. Do we play Shieldred? If we do, and they have the removal spell, we are going to lose Kaito, and we don't need to. I think patience is better here. There's always one more removal spell, right? No. What do we have here? Now let's see what happens. If they put a counter on this, we might need to go for its throat to keep Kaido. Which is probably worth it. Uh-huh. See? Didn't have to fight for Kaido. They drew another removal spell. You gonna get you some? You can't block any of this. Kinda makes sense. Yeah, there you go. So do we wanna work on untapping this fairy or draw cards? Let's draw cards. You know me. More removal spells, love it. All right, opponent, what you got? Did they have removal for my Sheldred? Third Terra Sunder, wow. I mean, three Terra Sunders in a deck that could run cards like uh, Unleash the Inferno with a card like Questing Druid in it is... It's a choice. Ooh. Are you drawing additional cards? 
Thank you. That makes me so happy. All right, we got eight points of attack on 11 life. I still think it's better to be patient. I don't think they'll play a board wipe. That completely ruins me. So yeah, just keep playing stuff out. Remove anything that would cause us trouble. We should win this game by a mile. There is something. Hi, Sheldred. What you doing? Still loses to the Fey, right? They get a Glissa, they get a land, they ran out of removal. We kept drawing flyers. Easy. On the play with Masterminds. Will we draw land for children? I don't know. We will draw Masterminds. The Shuffler is, of course, fine. Dread Knight. Got something on my own here. I wish they had played the adventure side, though. Would have been fun. Q. Now maybe they'll cast it from their graveyard for the adventure. My god, what a trap that would be. They're searching up a land. Interesting. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Let's go! Oh, oh, oh it's so good. It's so good. Don't scoop! Just keep serving me up your suffering. Let's hold for more. We've got a spell stutter. We got this fairy. We go for the throat, that's fine. Would you like to do it again? Come on, do it again. Please do it again. Aww. Aww. I'm sad. No, not again. <laughs> I hope you still have some go for the throats left for children. <laughs> Let's just do it. Put them to the test. We can't clean this whole board, I don't think. But I'm holding Takanuma. Just in case. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> Shuffler is fine today. Give me cards. Hope you're ready for some. <laughs> now this is a juicy secret. Oh, come on, put something on the stack worthy of my countering. That ain't it. Does nothing for me. No! Not this time. Oops, all removal. That comes to an end here. Oh, Doc! <laughs> yeah. What is going on with this game? Opponent in true never didn't have it territory. Thanks. I'll be taking that now. And now my counters suck. That's great. Love that. I think we let that happen. <laughs> I've been watching your moves. Impressive. We want them to have to do it next turn. Makes their mana harder. But there's got to be more fairies and children in this deck somewhere. Now, what that ain't it. That ain't it. Here comes the cottage. I'm actually going to lose this game. Like these, these hands are unreasonable. I drew two cards off that mastermind, too. Unreal. 
mission's compromised. Time to go. They didn't recast this. Why not? I don't know. Oh, we're just gonna lose to these lands. I got <laughs> Five mana is a lot. It's all removal. It's all removal and it wins with lands. I am nauseated. <laughs> I guess I... There was some point, right, where I held these and I... I shouldn't have, right? <laughs> what a joke. What a joke. On the draw is sad, but we will do our best. My mother said, if you have nothing nice to say, try to say nothing. But she didn't tell me I'd have to talk on the internet for a living. Kind of a conundrum. Wandering Emperor in the enchantment deck. Sure. So we could try to ambush. What we should do is cut down, but we can wait till the uh, trigger from the teachings. Hopefully they put it on the visitor. Yeah, I'm not surprised they didn't. Subjectively, the right play. Another one, but no one mana enchantment. Okay. Yeah, we're going to want to fence this visitor. Which means we should just do it now. Visitors gotta go. I think we need, we want to try to keep the mastermind around. Well, they've got something instant speed. It might be that wandering emperor. So let's not try, let's try not to fall into the trap. They showed us the Wandering Emperor with the mill. Let's <laughs> see you. I'm not overconfident. You're just underwhelming. You gave away your technology with your teachings. Big oops. Now they might exile the sleep cursed Fey on their turn and pay the ward, but I'm I'm fine with that. That's okay. If they don't, it's going to become a menace to them keeping their planeswalker alive. Resto Iganjo. Threatening to get an ossification next turn. Honeycorn, 6-6, six, six. no. No, it's so big. Go for the throat. Oh, do I hate that they're gonna take my shieldred. But here we are. Kill this, attack this. They're gonna get the ossification anyway, right? So the idea being Maybe they'll trade for the bunny corn and then they'll take something like the Gix that's not nearly as valuable. We're at 16 with a go for the throat up. I think this is reasonable. I mean, a really good scenario would be a chump block on the Shieldred. I'll take the trade. Maybe they get the bunny corn back, but then I'm still relieved from it for a turn. Emperor dies, we draw. Done for good. Fencing. Big choice. 
They discard wedding announcement. They must have a really nice play. Okay, it's the bunny corn. It's tapped. I don't have to worry about it for another turn. You're still in a pretty rough position. Ah, yep. Okay. Sure. I mean, those are both what I would call delayed gratification cards. Bunny corn dead again. Ooh. Ooh. Why am I doing this now? Because I'm an idiot. Should have had children on the battlefield for this. Doesn't matter. They scoop. Ah! Ah, blah, 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 blah. It's been a long day. I appreciate your patience and not saying mean things. And we are back for a post-game wrap up. A post-game wrap you may hear a few times if you are a regular viewer of the show. And I, you know, hope that you are. And, you know, if this is your first time hearing it, here's information about me, about CGB. I am traveling to MagicCon Las Vegas, but unlike other MagicCons I've traveled to this year, all of the ones I've traveled to this year, I'm actually working at this show. I have a job. I am hosting Game Nights Live, which honestly is like one of the coolest roles I've ever been offered. And if you're new to Magic or you only focus on Arena, you may not have heard of the Command Zone and Game Nights and Game Nights Live, but you should check it out. They have a YouTube channel. So this, what does this mean? It means I have to be in Vegas for a long time this week for rehearsals because they are pros. This is a serious production. This is a big deal. So with that in mind, I have to record a whole bunch of videos in a very small window. So if the videos are shorter than you remember, this is the reason why. If the videos don't have a specify a special outro where I talk about the stats, this is the reason why. It's a real challenge that I don't think most people ever have to understand to both uh, find decks and then play decks and then make footage with decks for like 10 consecutive days upcoming within the span of a couple of days, which is the situation I'm in. So if the decks are net decked in some situations or in more than normal, or they don't seem like the typical CGB deck, that is also because of the schedule I'm trying to keep. And I do appreciate your patience. I take having an audience very seriously. I appreciate you a great deal. I love that you tune in all the time. I love that you have an expectation of me, you know, that that becomes heavy. And I feel it in the comments when people are like, this is not the usual CGB deck or he looks tired today or things like that. Yeah. Yeah, I know, because sometimes if I'm traveling, I have to record up to 10 hours of video in a single day to try to cover some of that space. So thank you to those who are patient. I don't, the comments get in my head. I know it comes from a place of love. It's really not helpful to leave such comments, but at least for those of you who watch till the end, you have an answer, which maybe you can uh, go back and let people know who do leave those comments and then just leave that this isn't my usual thing. I try to give you about a lunch break's worth of content every single day if I can, and that is what I plan to do when I get back from Vegas. For those of you attending MagicCon Las Vegas, I will be doing Game Nights Live on Friday. Please come out to the show. I will put on the very best show that I can as a commentator for the Game Nights Live Championship. And if you're there on Saturday, I plan to do meet and beats at 2 p.m. local time at the Ultimate Guard booth. And what that is, you don't need to have a deck or anything. If you ever wanted to play against me, they have decks on hand. They're like all-star decks from standard past you can sit down and play a little best of one against the one in best of one at 2 p.m at the ultimate guard booth on saturday at least that's the plan right now as i know it and then the last thing is on sunday you can find me at the game nights booth at 4 p.m to 5 p.m shutting the place down the last signing of the weekend so i would really appreciate it if you come by and get your shark token signed i even signed jenga taxes i even signed mountains i signed fervent champions Honestly, I get asked all the time, would you sign a Cranko? Uh, guys, it's your cards. And I know I wouldn't be here without you. And that is why when I'm at these events, it really is like, I'll do my best to meet you. Now, the other thing I get asked all the time is, can we play a game of Commander? I don't know. It's really hard for me to get time to play Commander. And often I get asked, hey, CGB, CGB, please come play with us. And I'm like, I can't, I'm going to thing. It's my only chance of the whole weekend to get in the merch line. You know, stuff like that comes up. So I can't promise you a game of Commander, but uh, I'll do my best. And if you see me, say hi. Uh, let me know you watch the show.
means a lot to me, of course. It's the, the best part of what I do, honestly, is meeting so many people at these things this year. I've only got two more appearances this year. One, Magic on Vegas. Two, oh, almost used the wrong finger. Cool Stuff Inc. in Command Fest Orlando. And that is the in, coming up in October. You've seen some ads for it here on the channel. So hopefully I'll get to see you guys there. And if I am not come, haven't come to your country yet, as always, next year. Anyway, this intro, outro, this outro thing is going to be used a number of times to help explain to people what's up with the videos because people always leave me a bunch of comments while I'm gone with things like this didn't feel like a usual CGB video or why isn't it long enough or why is it a net deck or why does he look tired? That's why, because I'm putting in the work to make sure that every day you guys get a little something to get you through your day until I'm back in the office. And in the meantime, off to do some exciting things. Thank you for watching this video. As always, I'll see you in the next video. And don't accuse me of not remembering to say it. I am putting this in every video for a reason so that you hear your daily dose of you're cool. Whether you are a student of the dojo or a salty mono red scrub, head over to Moxfield, the official home for all of my deck lists. Study the curve, see an example hand, or do a virtual play test. Whether you're trying to beat the one or study your sensei, find everything you need at Moxfield. Moxfield.com, the best site for Magic the Gathering decks on the internet.